Hey guys, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, yeah, I got the loop. It's uh, W6LVP loop is here. It's a magnetic loop that of course uh, is um, supposed to improve my reception. Um, I've of course uh, plugged it in with the uh, with the uh, power inserter and uh, kind of testing out uh, some of its uh, properties right now. So, um, you know what, it's, this is not the position where it's going to be. This is really not the place it's going to be. By the way, this is the box here where uh, this has, uh, of course, uh, all the uh, electronics for the amplifier and there's, in this one, there's a uh, low pass, high pass filter to remove FM and uh, AM broadcast overloading possibilities. So this is, of course, plugged uh, via this cable right here on uh, the power inserter and of course uh, the power inserter has uh, the connection right here if you see that goes in my house and to my SDR and of course my ICOM is on my sloper so that's what I did I actually uh, plugged the ICOM on the sloper and plugged the SDR on the uh, W6LVP loop that um, I'm just gonna back off a little bit so you guys could see it a little more. So uh, received it today, had to pay uh, $60 of taxes, which was something that I thought I had to pay probably. Um, it's really not at its position right now. It's just at the corner of my balcony. I'm thinking of, uh, well, shoving it up there near my uh, VHF um, mobile vertical somehow and uh, so it would be kind of higher and uh, in uh, kind of nuclear so that's what I probably will do uh, I'm still testing it because of course there's also I got tons of ideas of where I want to place it right now uh, uh, crazy ideas like you know even in the backyard somewhere in the middle because um, I want to position it at different places, test out the noise levels, and um, you know when I test out the noise levels, I'll choose the best place for its definite position, of course. Um, so I have tested it a little bit, of course, even though it's not in its best place right now. And the uh, first impressions are interesting. Uh, yes, I have less noise than my sloper. So even though the signals are pretty much the same, so if I have a um, say that on my um, sloper a signal is s7 well on this loop it will be s7 pretty much also which is interesting because if you consider that this is a much smaller loop rather than a 75 feet piece of uh wire uh already it's kind of interesting and impressive because it gives uh, at least the same level but there's a difference a signal at s7 that on my receiver on my sloper that I barely can understand whatever is happening because of the noise. Well, on the um, W6 LVP loop, the, silly, the same signal is also S7, but actually understandable. That means that the signal to noise ratio is different. I got more signal and a little less noise. Now it's still noisy. I mean, when I look at the uh, S meter, I still have S4, S5 noise at a lot of places. Yet, if I compare the noise floor to my sloper, it's lower pretty much everywhere. So, of course, uh, I will do the videos and the tests, official videos and official tests, once it's in its official position. And, of course, this is going to be reviewed on my channel. But, um, interesting preliminary test right now. It seems to do pretty much its job. Even though it's really not positioned in its uh, in my favorite place right now, so we'll be testing that out, and um, we'll be of course uh, hoping that um, you know might bring a little more joy to my shortwave listening. Uh, the W6 LVP loop. Uh, it's a magnetic amplified loop uh, that uh, I received today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.